first I'm heading to a country with over a billion people. What better place to start my search for superhumans than India? I've come here to find a local legend worthy of any comic book. A man that people believe can harness one of the greatest powers in nature, electricity. Ever since its discovery, electricity has been known for its potential to cause harm. Today, it's much safer and has transformed our world. But I'm here to investigate a man known as Current Mohan, who claims he can plug himself into a power outlet and suffer no harm. Every year, over 500 people die in electrical accidents in the U.S. alone, and I find it impossible to believe that a human could be immune to electrocution. I'm about to meet the human conductor to find out. Hi, I've been searching for you. My name is Daniel. Electricity Mohan, so you are real. <laughs> I've studied electricity, and I know if you touch a live wire, the current will flow through your body. Just a small amount can kill. But it's rumored that this man can conduct electricity and survive unharmed. I think current Mohan senses my skepticism. It looks normal. There's not any wrong. Next, I check the electrical system hasn't been tampered with. 200 volts. Well, it looks real to me. It's real. Now, this so-called human conductor says he'll plug himself in and light up a bulb. If both these wires touched any ordinary person, the electricity would flow through their body, causing organs to fail and stopping their heart. You ready? Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That's the coolest thing ever. He's got the current running right through his body. But how is this possible? This is real. This is... A normal person, this would kill them. It seems Kura Mohan is just getting warmed up. And he wants to prove he can handle even more electricity. Yes. You're actually going to pass the current through your body to power this yes, blender. Yes, yes, yes. And if I wasn't convinced the wires are live, <laughs> Mohan blows the fuse. He's actually bypassing the fuse now, so it won't blow again, because he wants the current to go straight through him. I mean, just a tenth of an amp would normally kill an average human being. And he's bypassing like a 10 amp fuse now. This is totally unreal. Another one. No, no. Then just do it, beep. Okay. Well, this is pretty scary. I don't know why he's making me on this. <laughs> if I were to touch both these wires, I'd be electrocuted. But Kurt Mohan is about to do just that. No current. Mm. Okay. Uh. All right. Mm. You ready? Mm. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, just time! Surviving this much electrical current goes against everything I've ever learned about electricity. How many? Uh, 222, 250 volt HC, 700 watts. Three, three amps. amps. This is a three amp blender, so you had three amps running through your body. <laughs> I was so skeptical until I actually got here. It's real. It's not fake. I was uh, trying to figure out if it was a trick or not, but I saw it from my own eyes. He's really doing it. He's just survived more than 30 times the amount of current that would kill man. But how did current Mohan discover his incredible ability? He lost his mother at the age of seven. So frustrated, he said the best option was to commit suicide. So he climbed a transformer. And he went and caught hold of a wire to commit suicide. And to his amazement, he didn't get any shock. So you were a little kid and you tried to commit suicide by touching a transformer. Yes, yes, yes. By grace of God, you know. This is God's gift. It sounds straight out of a comic book. But does he have a real physiological difference that can be measured? 
To find out, I need a meter to test the electrical resistance of current Mohan's body. Resistance is a measure of a material's ability to oppose electric current. I got one. If Mohan has a high resistance, it would mean electrical current moves through him more slowly. This is possibly what makes it less harmful. Why don't we test your resistance of your skin? How's that? I'll test me. Well, you test. And then you test you, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the multimeter to ohms, and that measures the resistance okay. to see if your skin is different than mine. Okay? An average person has a resistance of 0.15 million ohms. Is current Mohan's body different to mine? And I am 0.18. Okay? Now you hold one and the other. Whoa! So you're... It keeps going up. It keeps going up and up and up. So you're like... Almost... A million ohms. You're even more than it. It keeps going up and up. The more it's on you, the higher it goes. Mohan's body has an incredible resistance. Does this mean that the flow of electricity is redirected around his body so his heart is not directly affected by the deadly current? <laughs> so you're ten times more resistant than me. He totally has some special kind of gift. And does this physiological difference make him immune to any amount of electrocution? Now, to prove he's a genuine superhuman, current Mohan has one more feat that is truly shocking. What he's about to do is extremely dangerous. If you try this at home, you would die. My name is Daniel Browning Smith, and I'm a superhuman. I'm the world's most flexible man. Comic book legend Stan Lee has sent me on a journey to find other real-life superhumans. My search has brought me to India to investigate a man who claimed he's immune to electrocution. No current. I was so skeptical until I actually got here. When I put him to the test, I discovered that current Mohan's body is physiologically different to mine. Whoa, it keeps going up. So you're <laughs> ten times more resistant than me. I've found a human who can defy science by conducting electricity. And now Mohan wants to demonstrate his powers in a test that will push his own limits. And that's your heart plate. This is unlike the other things he's powered because a hot plate uses an excessive amount of current. And current is the thing that kills you. I mean, just one tenth of the amp running through your heart will stop it. And I can't stress enough. What he's about to do is extremely dangerous. If you try this at home, you would die. Although I have faith in Kurt Mohan's ability to conduct electricity, okay. this is terrifying. Oh. You like wrapped yourself up like a human transformer. Yeah, just like it. Okay. And what are you doing with this key? Okay, it's working. It shocked me. These wires are live. And when Mohan uses his body to complete the circuit, the electricity will surge through him and power the hot plate. There's actually a spliced wire on the ground, and his foot touches it, and it turns on the light. And uh, you can see smoke coming out of the hot plate right now. Mohan can actually see right now because no, see. when the electricity runs through his body, his eyes get glazed over. Current Mohan has evolved in a way that enables him to withstand the electricity in the copper wire. If an ordinary person was exposed to this much power, for just a fraction of a second, okay. it would cause permanent muscle damage right, and stop their heart. And it appears even Mohan is affected right. by the amount of lethal power coursing through his body. Sure. There we go. A little more. You okay? Oh. But somehow, Mohan holds on, proving he has an ability unlike anyone else on Earth. I think I found my first superhuman. That was absolutely amazing. I was a little bit skeptical at first, but I mean, he really did it. The electricity really ran through his body. He's definitely superhuman.
It's really astonishing Raj Mohan can allow electricity to flow through his body without any ill effects. But there's no denying it's an incredibly...